Hi guys, it's Weedit, and I hope you can hear me over the fan I have going, but I am getting ready to start ICADS. Now I know it's already June 4th and they started June 1st, so I've got a little bit of catching up to do, but I thought I would show a few of the ICADS I did. These were probably two years ago. I didn't have a chance to participate last year, um, and I hope I get a chance to go the full two months this year, but ICADS are index card a day and for 60 days you do something um, every day to just be creative. So here is uh, one ICAD that I did and you can tell it is an index card. You can see the back of it. And the eyes are just some sequins with some stickles. They're layered sequins. Let's see if I can get up Close. Okay, and then I put liquid accents over it, and these these were some weird thing that I got sort of as a freebie with some other stuff that I ordered. So um, that was one, and here's another. Uh, here's a found poetry one. I do like doing doing found poetry, but it deadly precision and deliberate calmness left as the people went berserk. And oddly enough, I did it on a nice background with, um, it's still on an index card, but it's greenery. It doesn't really fit. Oh well. Um, this one, the brightest light, wait, sorry. In the blackest night shines the brightest light, which are lyrics from an old song back, I think it came out in 1989, and it was by King Swamp. So. The lyrics were stuck in my head, and here's just a quickie little floral. This one was a pain to do. It's all duct tape. So different duct tape, did different things with it. And I struggled with this one tremendously before ending up. This is dimensional. It, I use some type of um, Viva Blackberry. can't remember the name of the, the paste but and then it's got some sparkle in it uh this one not in a good mood yep not in a good mood and so it has uh letters tfs stamped over and over i think it was really fts ft yeah yeah it was fts that i stamped over and over in dark colors and just let it go this was inspired by some aboriginal art it's a flower and I really enjoyed doing that. I'll probably do another one similar to that. This is, um, it's on a sparkly background. I don't know if you can see that. And this is crayon, melted crayon to make a real pretty flower. And this was obviously a, a quick and dirty one. Okay, but the idea was to create every day so I threw that together. And <laughs> Um, this was actually um, Bombay India ink and then charcoal and imaginary creature. A uh, bird that I drew in pencil and cut it out and stuck on a background. Little mushroom vignette. One of my favorites. I loved doing this one and the, the skulls are actually stamped and then I just went in this is a gouache that I used and you can tell it's not completely opaque and then I just drew bones going around for the border that was a very fun one this is a doodle owl that I had a good time doing and I'm missing one that is my favorite I don't really know where it went but I'm missing quite a few Anyway, this one is just a, it's a stamp. I don't know if you can see, it's by Stampatique, but there's a lot of faces here in the background. And then I put glossy accents over one face. So those are a few, not very many, but a few from, um, I guess it was two years ago. Last year was kind of rough, so I didn't get to do, get, didn't get to do anything. But this year I hope to. And I'm following some of the suggestions by Karen Burchill. 
and her recommendation was that you take a bunch of cards and she was actually using flashcards from when she was a teacher so she's going over them with gesso. Well, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Sometimes I gesso the cards, sometimes I don't, but I am going to gesso a whole bunch of cards at one time. And she had gone through Pinterest and looked up a whole bunch of quotes and print, uh, typed them up and she was going to go through the quotes that match some of the prompts. Daisy Yellow is the one who came up with the index card a day for 60 days and she has prompts. You can follow the prompts or not. I will follow some, some others I will do on my own. And Karen Burchill has a Pinterest group that she developed where she has just looked up some of the quotes that she found that relate to the prompts. So you can, I'll put a link to her um, video at the bottom and in it, in, <laughs> in her video, she shows you where to go to link to her Pinterest page. I also have um, a dictionary of quotations that I thought I would go through and spend some time with. This was from a literature teacher, a very good friend of mine, who at a way too early age uh, developed cancer and she beat it three times and the fourth time she said enough is enough. So, um, love her dearly, miss her very much. And this is a book from her stash. I'm going to go through it and find some quotes that spark something in me that give me some ideas, some inspiration, and I will do similar to what Karen did and just make a note of them so that I can use them in my index cards. So I'm going to be gessoing and looking up quotes and uh, getting ready for index card a day. This is day four, so I have four to do. I hope you'll join in. This is a whole lot of fun. And as you can tell, the cards can be as detailed and time-consuming as you want, or they can be like that one I'm looking for it where I obviously <laughs> just did not take much time with it. It was those uh, red and turquoise flowers. I can't seem to flip through and find it, but it's in here somewhere where it didn't take me any time to do it, but there it is. But I was creative, you know, I did something. And, that, and that's the whole point. It, this is not supposed to be a great, fantastic work of art. You are supposed to be creative every day. So this took me probably three minutes to do, but I did it. And that was the main point. So I hope you'll join in in the fun. And we'll see you later. Bye.